This was a match that was postponed twice and the venue switched three times from a window green stadium to Nakuru Zafra Stadium and finally the city stadium in Nairobi. After a barren first half of no action, the game sprang to life in the second half with Ingwe having their tails up. Paul Were was the main man on the wings but his crosses went begging. The breakthrough came late in the match when a through ball to Paul Were was contested for by two players. A penalty was given for a handball by a Sony Sugar defender, though both sides accused the other of handling the ball. Everybody saw it. It's Were who handled the ball. And again, the referee was awarded the, 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 the penalty against us. It was supposed to be a, a, a free kick and a yellow card for Were. Alan Wanga stepped up to beat Wycliffe Kasaya from 12 yards. Sony Sugar had two chances to pull level in the dying minutes, but on both occasions, they fluffed their chances. Still we are focused because we are still having three matches to go. But again, we really needed these three points today or at least one point. It was a tough match. That's why we played low at the first half and second half we decided to open the game. Ingwe travel to Mombasa tomorrow for a weekend date with Bandari while Sony Sugar take on Tasca on Saturday in Nairobi.